Wade searches Prague for his mentor Abraham Whistler, who was thought dead after being attacked by Deacon nice Frost, but was instead wow, turned into a vampire and held prisoner for two years. Blade rescues Whistler and cures him. Whistler meets Scud, Blade's young new technician and stoner. A pandemic is turning vampires into reapers, primal, mutant creatures with a ravenous thirst for blood and a highly infectious bite that transforms both human and vampire alike. In order to combat the reapers, vampire overlord Eli Damaskinos sends his minion, Assad, and daughter Nissa to strike a truce with Blade, who reluctantly allies with the vampires. He teams up with the Blood Pack, an elite group of vampires originally assembled to kill him. Reinhardt hates Blade, and challenges him to fight, but in response Blade implants an explosive on his head to keep him in line. Now you got an explosive device stuffed to the back of your head. They investigate a vampire nightclub where they encounter the Reapers and discover they are immune to most vampire weaknesses. The Reaper leader, Jared Nomak, arrives and holds Nissa hostage. He tries to recruit Blade to his cause, citing their mutual hatred of vampires. Priest is bitten and Mercy killed, and Lighthammer is bitten but conceals the bite. Whistler disappears and Scud is attacked by several Reapers, which he drives off with UV lights. Blade fights Nomak, who is immune to Blade's weapons. As the sun rises, Nomak retreats and Whistler returns, revealing he has found the Reaper nest in the sewer. Nissa dissects a dead Reaper and learns their hearts are encased in durable bone. Realizing UV light is their only weakness, Scud and Whistler make UV weapons for the team, as well as a UV emitting bomb strong enough to take out the entire nest. Entering the Reaper nest, the team spreads out. Lighthammer transforms into a Reaper and kills Snowman. Verlaine sacrifices herself to kill Lighthammer by exposing them both to sunlight. Chupa and Reinhardt attack Whistler, who sprays Chupa with a Reaper pheromone. This attracts a horde which kills Chupa and Whistler escapes. Assad and Nissa are ambushed and Assad is killed. Blade saves Nissa and uses the UV bomb which kills all of the Reapers except for Nomad. Nissa and Reinhardt manage to evade the blast, but Nissa is seriously injured until Blade allows her to drink his blood to survive. Damaskino's forces betray and capture Blade, Whistler, and Scud. It is revealed that the Reapers exist as a result of Damaskino's efforts to engineer a stronger breed of vampires. Nomak, the first Reaper, is his own son, whom Damaskino's considers a failure due to his weakness to sunlight. Scud reveals himself to be one of Damaskino's familiars, but Blade, who already suspected this, kills him with the explosive he planted on Reinhardt earlier. Damaskino's plans to harvest Blade's blood in order to develop an immunity to sunlight and create a new and entirely invincible breed of vampires. Whistler escapes Reinhardt and frees a nearly drained Blade, who falls into Damaskino's blood pool, restoring his strength and kills Reinhardt. Nomak enters Damaskino's stronghold seeking revenge on his father. Nissa betrays Damaskinos by sealing off their escape route to the heliport and Damaskinos is killed by Nomak after failing to negotiate with him. Nomak then bites Nissa, drinking her blood. Blade and Nomak engage in battle and Blade stabs Nomak in his only weak spot. With his revenge complete, and wanting to end his suffering, Nomak kills himself with Blade's sword. Fulfilling Nissa's wish of dying as a vampire, Blade takes her outside and embraces her as her body disintegrates due to the sunrise. <laughs>